Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode 5 of Fatal Not Informs Wants to Watch. And in this episode, we're going to be playing the final two games before we're going to be jumping into the knockout stages. But uh, in today's episode, we're still going to be upgrading some players, and that is the first thing we're going to be doing today. So, as you can see right there, the two pairs from the previous episode pair one, Sergio Ramos and Moya, and pair two, Pereira and Matuidi. And pair one was the winner, so that means we're going to be adding a new center back and a goalkeeper to the squad. And um, so far, anyway, uh, it looks like a great team. It's on full chemistry. The only positions left which are able to upgrade are the center mid spot and the right back, which you're hopefully able to do at the end of this episode. So going all be the first game of the episode, come up against a Syria side 3-4-3 formation. A very attacking looking side with some uh, great players into the team. And uh, we started things off in the 12th minute already with Banarfa, the first attempt of the game. But unfortunately, uh, we couldn't put it into the back of the net. I felt that shot could have been a lot better. I was aiming for the far corner. The 16th minute, a chance with Remy, one of our center midfielders. A great save this time though from the goalkeeper as I think if I had a striker up front instead of Remy, I think it would have been a goal. 25th minute, him going through here as well with Insigne. You can see right there, my defending wasn't the greatest. He did a lot of LT, uh, RT as well. Well, which made me kind of uh, struggle a lot when he uh, was on the attack basically but luckily enough uh, we didn't concede right there then 33rd minute from a quick free kick uh, we managed to go through here with Lacazette played on through to Banarfa gets a shot in with his weaker foot goes for the header really really weak header and a weird save as well was just hoping for the rebound couldn't put it in so um, yeah a lot of chances for us in the first half but no goals so far then moving into the second half here's 65th minute you can see on the radar there was so much pace it was just crazy so I did a through ball here with Douglas Costa to Di Maria who goes one on one and then hits the goddamn post like this was seriously a 100% goal but I just couldn't put it in again so annoying 72nd minute another chance with Lacazette I couldn't really get like a proper shot in was just a weird one but um yeah still kind of a chance but also towards the end of the game like it was just so annoying because we created so many chances and it looked like we were going into extra time but then we get one more chance 89th finish with Renato Sanchez and he blows that one as well like are you actually serious like I was just fuming seriously at this point because again that was just a 100% goal usually but I seriously don't know how he put that wide then we continue on, we still got one more chance, uh, you can see we set a lot of pressure on my opponent, I think I was playing on high pressure and also uh, ultra attacking. And then 90th minute, we actually did score, but the way we scored was just ridiculous as well, I mean, this never should have gone in. I don't know what Joe Hart did there, but that was just the perfect way to end this just ridiculous game, where we at least should have scored... I, I, I think three goals, but it just, I think, should have been more. Look at the stats, man, like... It's just crazy that we only ended up winning this game 1-0. I only got 20k from this game as well, which was just really, really annoying. So, um, yeah, going into the second game, my aim was just to do a lot, lot better in terms of just finishing off my chances. Even though you can't really control that yourself, I feel. You just have to be lucky, I think. But uh, anyway, going in what will be the second game, come up against a Premier League team with two Player of the Month players in uh, Hongmin Son and also Sterling. So, um, yeah, it was going to be a tough match. And that's how it actually started as well. Like, my opponent got a lot of chance at the start of the game already. Uh, some great, great save from my goalkeeper. 16th minute as well here with Musa after some great skill moves. He was way too fast. Again, a good save there from Moya. Then a 24th minute from a corner. He crossed it in there. We managed to clear it with Pepe. Not the greatest clearance. Then he picks it up here with Pereira. A crazy volley where he hits the post. And then from the rebound, we managed to sort of clear it away again with Pepe. So, um, yeah, I think in the first few minutes... We could have been uh, could have been down one to nil. Then 30th minute, our first chance it went like us at the weak foot shot, good save there from his goalkeeper. Then uh, 32nd minute from a throw immediately after it. We set a lot of pressure with Di Maria. We go with some skill moves here as well with uh, Lacazette. We beat the defender, go with the ball roll. And then a beautiful finesse shot from, I think, just outside the box. Making one nil in this game. Picking up the first 20k. And that uh, was actually a great way to end off the first half. Even though I think my opponent at least should have scored a goal as well. Then straight from kickoff, we uh, tried to go on the attacker. You can see right there, Lacazette was actually injured. So I was afraid that uh, it was going to be a forced substitute. But uh, meanwhile, my opponent just kept on attacking. I, I cleared away terribly with Ramos even though I pressed B it went through the middle and because of it he made a 1-1 with uh, Hung Min Son and brought the corn total down to zero so um, yeah we can see the goal a goal that I felt anyway was coming since my opponent was a great player then uh, 56 minutes we got a big big chance with Remy but I think just like in one of the previous episodes one ones with him they, they're just horrible I mean 
Yeta would work again. Again, I think this should have been a goal as well. Then we move on, 67th, Renato Sanchez this time going one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. I tried the chip shot. I think I just should have done it way earlier because I saw the goalkeeper coming out on the radar. But yeah, I just waited way too long. Then 82nd minute, uh, he does get a big chance here as well. Hits the post from the rebound to this, uh, our goalkeeper Moya again who picks it up. Then 90th minute towards the end of the game. We managed to pick the ball up here with Di Maria and then the referee just decides to blow in his whistle. Where I think anyway we could have at least had one more shot or something. But um, yeah, the referee just decided to blow in his whistle which was annoying. So going into extra time. After the 90 minutes we played, and um, after four minutes he scored again with Hong Min Son. And um, yeah, he made it 2-1 in his advantage. So um, yeah, it was going to be all-out attack for me pretty much. Uh, I actually had, I think, Sergio Ramos as a striker eventually. You can see it right there. 120th minute, seriously, the final chance in the game. Went with a back heel for some reason. We still managed to get it, and we went with another back heel. A terrible one. And after uh, my opponent cleared away, the game ended. And uh, that meant we uh, we lost the game. The first one actually in the Fatal Series, 2-1. Two, two, I felt a deserved one. Based on the stats, it was a deserved loss as well. Even though I think we at least could have scored a couple more goals. Same for my opponent, but um, that is how it went. I can see right there, top right, zero goals. So that means we aren't going to be upgrading any players um, in this team anymore. So um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a little bit disappointing, I feel, but um, yeah, that's the way it goes, unfortunately. Next episode, I'm going to be revealing who I'm going to be playing against, which YouTuber, so uh, look out for that. Should be up uh, very, very soon. But anyway, guys, still hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. Also, make sure to check out all the other YouTubers as well, in case you want to know what kind of squads uh, I potentially could be facing against. But anyway, that's going to be the end. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!